for this video, I'm going to show you how to use MIDI Control Change or MIDI CC, specifically the mod wheel or pitch wheel. Notice how I have a patch that tells you what the mod wheel and pitch wheel will do in this case. On the left, I'm going to assign mod wheel to MIDI CC number one. Click link to controller and notice there's auto de detect. So if you move your mod wheel, it'll auto accept. There's a little flashing icon that tells you whether your MIDI CC is working. If it's red, then something is actually happening and your MIDI CC should be working. And if it's a green, then it's not detecting your MIDI CC. To check this, try linking it to an FL default knob, like the pitch knob. In this case, the mod wheel actually creates an atonality to the sound. So it sounds inharmonic. Inharmonic tones may arise when you use something like ring modulation or FM synthesis. And in this case, this is a bell patch that sounds almost like a music box. Here I'm adjusting the XY controls because I want to show you a horror-esque tone. So when you press record, there's the option to record everything. What that allows you to do is record your MIDI notes and MIDI CC at the same time. As you can see in the piano roll, the mod wheel event edits actually recorded, and so did those of the pitch wheel. You can further edit these below. And if you hold Alt while you click and drag your cursor in the piano roll, then you can make smoother MIDI CC edits and won't be so step ladder like. Alright, and that is how you use MIDI CC in FL Studio. See ya!